The story tonight at 10. Welcome to the Nine Rewind, where we talk about the topics you were talking about last week in the Nine University Facebook groups and inside Fast Track. It's the Week in Review, Nine News style, brought to you by Fast Track. The easiest way to fast track your FBA success is with Fast Track. Welcome to the Nine Rewind. My name is Dwight Gellowitz, and I'm here with my good friend, the man, the myth, the guy nobody knows, Mr. Dan Schultz. That's right. The legend that nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going today, buddy? I think it's going pretty good. Uh, Fast Track has been jumping lately yeah. since they lowered the price. I'm thankful for that. Or maybe maybe it's a little too busy. I think we got to raise that price up a little bit just so I have a little breathing. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think the the more the merrier, as they say. Um, so listen, what do we want to what do we want to cover today? What do we want to go start with? Well, we can start in Facebook, <clears throat> and I've seen something the last couple weeks that. I, I don't want to call it a disturbing trend, but it kind of is, at mm-hmm. least in my mind. And it's not a ton of people doing it, but it's enough to where I notice. And there just seems to be, I see people complaining, not about complaining about anything other than what they are doing. They'll complain about like, oh, I made a mistake. I screwed up on the packaging and now I got to redo this. Or, you know, I, I, I have the title ghost listing in my product and now it's at Amazon and I can't change like all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Negativity and, sometimes, you know, we are our worst, our own worst critics. I think most of the time we uh, can beat ourselves up yeah. pretty bad on, uh, on uh, mistakes and, and things that you look back and think, Oh God, I could have wish I could have done that better or whatever. But uh, well, like, why beat yourself up? Like, well, yeah, the, exactly. the reality is it's like, man, you know, th- this is, this is a hard business. You know, you're going to F up. Yeah. I wish I had a dime every time we f up. Well, actually, if we had a dime every time you f up, I'd be rich. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the fact, you know. We should like we should tell people how many times how how we f up because like you know, but there's a pot, there's an upside to this. If you can make a mistake and then you learn from it. Yeah. And well. then if you're in my case, you make it maybe one, two, three more times max, and then it finally gets through the head. <laughs> yeah, and then gets, you can move gets forward. through that steel trap with rusty hinges. <laughs> I know all about it. But yeah, what let's was our biggest let's, mistake. Let's talk about that. I mean, what we did in the very beginning, you know, we come from a online marketing background. Both Danny and I have uh, we're running a fairly successful, you know, drop shipping business um, and where I was able to retire uh, and decide to get into Amazon FBA for some silly reason. But, um, you know, the what happened was we came into this. We learned from Kale and Taylor. We watched all the videos. You know, we critiqued their teaching style. Um, and, you know, lo and behold, we we get into the you know, the nuts and bolts of, uh, of the online advertising part. And what did we do, Danny? We turned on our pay-per-click before we had our reviews because yeah. we know better <laughs> than Kale and Taylor, yeah. right? Yeah, they don't know what they're talking about. No. Turn those PPC ads on without <laughs> any sales, any reviews. Just let's get to the, because we were thinking, let's get these reviews in day one. Let, you know, because we came from Shopify and Facebook where we could literally turn on a switch, stuff sales start coming in reach out hey give us a review boom we're done (laughs) that was such a mistake why didn't we listen to them Uh, well we had to spend a little bit of money to figure out what was going on you know uh in in addition to that we also you know kind of argued with the tika metrics guy over how much to spend on our budget (laughs) yeah you know it turns out they know more than we do about PPC. 
Yeah, mm. on Amazon. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it turns out. I know a mistake we made. Okay. We made, um, we t- <laughs> you should try to look, grab some pictures if you can find them on your computer. We, again, not listening to Kalen Taylor and not taking advantage of Honey Badger Boost. No, we don't need to do that. We have two expensive iPhones. We'll take our own pictures. Here, we don't need some professional. Here we go. Here's, here's a here's a great picture to uh, uh, show. What the hell? What is this? You idiot! <laughs> what are you doing? Why would you show that? You dick? well, I'm not going to show them our product. That's like so, the that's like the first rule of Fight Club. You never talk about your own well, product. Why would you show a pic? Why? Why? Oh God! Look how look fat. At that. Oh, I'm still look fat. at that guy soaring like a bird, like a fat bird. <laughs> ah, look, I would look cool soaring. I don't like the 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 fat head wedged into the ping pong ball <laughs> helmet. The idiot. Why does it? It like looks like a. Where did you find this? It looks like a. Must have, oh, must have you been have on your scrapbook? Facebook page, or actually, it was probably no on Amy's Facebook that, page. Yeah, my wife must have put it on. There's no way of putting that picture in public. Oh, Luckily, so now it's on, in front of the world. That's so funny. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we took our own photos with our iPhones because you know. Uh, you just take a picture, you get it up there. You I mean, look at our competition was doing the same thing. I mean, you know, there's tons of lousy photos of, you know, uh, you know, like one of the things that I love was, you know, one of our competition, the product, they inserted it on uh, some other photo, like they just cut it and it's way out of proportion for the size of the product. Like it was, you know what I mean? Like it was in the, yeah, I remember that. We're the, it's like almost 10 times the size of what it would really be if it was <laughs> sitting on the table or whatever it was. You know? Yeah. Like imagine like you're selling a, a coffee cup and it's on a coffee table. That's the size of a dollhouse or something. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? So okay, so we screwed up with PPC yeah. turning it on before yeah, did that taking our own pictures. Yeah, did that. Um oh we fell in love with our product. Oh, that was another brilliant yeah. move we did. I, I feel good about selling this product. I, I you know I can't sell something outside of uh what I would want to buy or what I would like. So or then, whatever. And what did that lead us to? Because we fell in love with it and sales were crap. Let's hit that PPC a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay i wasn't gonna go into that but you know so you know. Th- i mean the reality is is that you're going to screw up when you start this business you're gonna make mistakes don't take it personally don't let it stop you just look at it and laugh you know and you know if you Learn. ever need just reach out to me on facebook i'll show you another picture of the fat bird flying in hawaii if you need <laughs> to feel be. better about yourself <laughs> You know, just, uh, just don't, don't, don't always try to be perfect because that's another killer. Um, and we got over that a long time ago and, but we were, I was very much, you know, kind of a perfectionist. Everything had to be boom, 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 boom. It had to be all lined up, you know, before I would do anything. And I got over that really quick and realized that, uh, sometimes, you know, money loves speed, the faster you can get things out there. And as long as it's good enough, you yep. are, uh, you know, you're going to be able to fly. So, uh, don't let the, you're going to be able to fly yeah. over the ocean <laughs> with a jet pack and look th- majestic there you go. like a fat yeah. bird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danny, do we have another question off of the Facebook yeah, absolutely. Um, this is any tips uh, on the typing random letters method in the search box. It seems so random. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. That, that sounds uh, pretty good. Let's uh, let's share my screen here. Cool. Okay, so here's what we tell people to do, right? Right. We tell them to go yeah. to Amazon and you start typing, you know, type dog dish or whatever. And then you start seeing all these random things and you can just do anything, right? You know, all of a sudden, boom. But the thing that's weird is like something like this. I typed EA and we have earbuds, earplugs, earring backs, earrings for women, earbuds, all the way down to earwax removal. Okay. So these are all over the place. And that is why it's really confusing sometimes, right? Because no matter what letter 
you know, the scale, shower curtain liner, spray bottle, silk, it's like a space heater. It's like it's all I mean, over shower the place. curtain liners and sports bras are not related. It depends on how uh, chesty the gal is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but so that is why people sometimes get discouraged because there's just so much stuff for them to do, right? Yeah. So here's what I like to do. Uh, and people forget that you can do this. If you have an idea, or even if you don't have an idea, just come down here to this little thing and just pick a different department, right? Like, uh, I don't know, like, I always like the home and the uh, home and kitchen or whatever. And now watch what happens. Now when we type in here and we'll type the E, there's electric kettle, extension cord, electric blanket. See, they're all they're all things you'd find in the home, right? Or uh, you know what I mean? So yeah. it really does help you narrow down. Okay. So well, how it, about again, some, it's just a little easier. How about something that I need, like a cool shower head? I gotta replace my shower head. Did I search for cool? Yeah, well. Is that how is this how you type, right? Cool shower uh, head. Search I mean, for if cool you want something shower cool, head. wouldn't you put that in front of it? <laughs> Do they have something called cool shower? Head? <laughs> cool shower. Head. <laughs> Is that how you do it? I can totally see you like, uh, I need, let's see. I need an awesome blanket, <laughs> a cool shower head. There you go. Yeah. Look so, at they're uh, cool. They got lights on them and shit. These are cool. <laughs> hey. Or the Should water comes out shit? green and I'm going to have, <laughs> you know, I have to have a second shower to wash the green goo off of me or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh god danny do we have a coach's corner ready oh yeah 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 play my theme and now it's time for dan's coaching corner this is where we'll share tips tricks and hacks the coaches in fast track usually share on the inside today's topic is insert topic here and now here's dan so in the first show, Dwight, yeah. we, I did that, um, the method where I showed how to use that eBay, the watchcount.com site to find seven and sevens. And people seem to really like that. Yeah. So, uh, and they've been messaging me asking for more of that kind of thing. So I will share with you another tip we share sometimes in Fast Track about how to find, uh, how to clear your mind and find products you would have never thought of. <laughs> My and mind's like usually super pretty easy. clear, Danny. <laughs> That's right. It is almost empty. So, uh, so let's use this here. So here is that cool, whatever, cool shower okay. head. Yeah. Um, well, it's not and that we're cool, going to look for something that you want the green one <laughs> <laughs> or you want the one with, with cat food in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to look for one with i mean it actually doesn't matter i mean like here this is enough we want to find one with some reviews i mean you can do some with a lot but honestly it doesn't really matter you just right. want to find some with the reviews so let's click into here and oh and now let's go down here to the ratings and now so see down here it's kind of cool right like if you look all these people left reviews okay so why are you uh, how are them reviewing a specific product going to help you find other products well yeah so again it's about clearing your mind right so you can go out all these people have bought this yeah so let's just pick one random one and this is kind of a neat thing here like here lynn so we're going to click on her name and that's going to bring us to her profile. Everyone has a profile and you can see she did 13 reviews. Okay. okay. So let's take a look at her reviews. Let's get an idea. Let's see what she bought. Okay. Um, uh, this is a computer. We don't want to do that. Licorice. Oh God, I would hate spending five seconds with this lady. <laughs> Okay, here, like something like this. Let's put this in one window. We'll come back to that. Um, iPhone or case or whatever. Stuff. That's too much. Let's see. Okay, here's a... Oh, I bought one. Is this a tarp? This is a patio tarp. I bought one of these last year. Oh, for that big patio you got. Oh, look, here's here's her review on that. Yeah, yeah. And the shower and the cool shower head. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going here. Let's, let's just try to find three things here. So let's do this. Okay. Now, again, I'm not saying these particular products are going to be good, okay. right? But I am saying that, well, let's just, let's take a look here. Okay, so let's go here. So what are these? These are chainsaw, chain, okay, just chainsaw, okay, chainsaw sharpening file. 
chain saw sharpening or sharpener, whatever. This is good enough. <laughs> I mean, it's just about finding ideas, right? Right. Yeah. So now I'm going to run boost nine on here and okay. see what happens. So, you know, what we're looking for is, you know, just like we can either do that too much competition, well, low demand. So that's not a good one. You can do the next one even if you want in, in uh, H10. Okay, here's this one, the, um, the tarp, the green tarp. So patio tarp. So let's run boost. Now. Oh, let me actually go here and type that patio tarp. Okay, now let's let that load and let's run H10 <clears throat> x-ray and see if that turns into anything. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I mean, Again, this is something I'm, we're not going to find anything in like the five minutes we're spending doing this, but you kind of see the thing, but, but you just start picking random things and you start, you know, running the numbers on them. Again, you might want to look at the related keywords. This is obviously a terrible one. Let's quickly look into here to see if anything pops out. Okay. Well, that's your other one here. <clears throat> Uh, what are these here? Pit posse ladders. <laughs> okay, pit load. posse. Oh no, loading ramps. Oh, load. Oh, that's, oh, that's for uh, riding stuff into the back of your pickup. All right, so loading ramps. This might be might be too heavy, but actually these are aluminum, so you know you can never tell. They might be, hmm. you know, it's not like bad to do heavy stuff sometimes or big stuff sometimes oh 10 and 4 i mean that's kind of cool yeah yeah let's look at related here i mean it's probably not going to be anything but i had those i had those out. ramps when i was whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa what holy whoa, cow whoa. <laughs> look at this dude we got a well hey is somebody you might want to source this Look at these loading ramps folding, loading ramps for ATV, yeah. loading ramps for pickup trucks. What are these? Let's run run the numbers on that, those particular things. What's the? Oh. You know, I would have bet that the tarp would have been a better one, just because I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually well, had nine these ramps seven. just like this for when I had my motorcycle. Did you? Yeah, that's cool. Nine and seven. Oh, cool. Rock and cool. roll. Rock and roll. Okay, let's <laughs> so do a different. Do now let's do a different uh, uh, coaching corner because we don't want to give away this great product idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much are these dudes making? 31 grand. I'll take it. I'll take their 31 grand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, so. <laughs> that's pretty cool so that is our code core. i know enough to stop when i get a winner yeah exactly i don't want to keep digging and then find 15 in a row that's a one one uh, so uh well thanks let's take the win thanks dan <laughs> for another great coach's corner and we'll be right back Hey, I got something really important for you, okay? You're in Nine University, and we like to do things the right way. We like to make sure you're protected. We like to make sure you start a real, actual business. And to start a real business, you need to set up a business. It's called an LLC, okay? And so Prime Corporate Services has been so kind, honestly, amazingly nice to eat some of these costs for you guys. And what they're gonna do is do a 30-minute consultation for free, and then a free entity setup. This is something that if you go to LegalZoom or you go to a lawyer, you're going to have to pay just for them to actually file the paperwork for you. So that is completely free. The only cost that will be to you is the, the, the hard costs, the filing fees for your state. So those can range somewhere from $300 to $600, depending on what state you're in. But guys, it's totally worth it and it totally pays for itself. There's no reason, there's no benefit for me to do this, to get you in this. All the, the real benefit is for you. I promise you, you wanna protect yourself. You don't want your personal assets on the line with your business. So you're gonna get a business, to, a business LLC to separate yourself from liability. You're also going to have this business set up to help you out when it comes to tax time. You can write off 
things like this program. You can write off things like inventory, stuff like that. And I'm not a task consultant, so don't quote me on that, but this is stuff that PCS can actually help you do. So what you're gonna wanna do right now is book this call with PCS. I promise you they are fantastic. They are just an amazing, amazing organization that will take care of you all the way through. So I just wanted to make this quick video to let you guys know that you are in good hands. Make sure you schedule that now. Don't try to set up this LLC on your own. First of all, it'll cost more money. Second of all, you might do it wrong. And third of all, just trust me, I got you. Cool? All right, I'm gonna fall on this sack now because I feel like this is a proper end to the video. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna keep the 10 reviews and 15 minutes contest going for the first four episodes of the Nine Rewind. We came up with a pretty slick, easy method to get 10 reviews in 15 minutes. And we'll do a private Zoom call with three people to show them exactly how we did it. If you're struggling to get your first reviews, this contest is for you. This is something we need to keep limited because we believe if a bunch of people started doing this, it might become saturated and then it's not gonna work for anybody. To enter, just comment below with the following. What topics would you like us to explore in future shows? And what was your favorite part of this episode? Dan and I will randomly pick three people after episode four airs and message them to set up a Zoom call. We'll explain the method to you in detail. Keep watching The Nine Rewind and thank you for being a part of The Nine Fam. The Nine Rewind. All right, we're back. Let's jump into fast track questions. Cool. Here's something uh, I saw. Be honest with me. Is making your product different a necessity? What is the cheapest way to differentiate something? Can I just print my logo on the box? That would count as making it different, right? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what now? Man, you like want to turn this into a morning zoo? <laughs> oh yeah, it's, I just had to add a little bit of uh, you know splash and and wonder, but uh, no, the right. that that wouldn't that wouldn't make it different. Um, you I mean, I guess kind of like if if your product. If you have a picture, like if you're if you're packaging, like you don't get away with it as Apple, right? Like everything from Apple, their boxes are cool. Then it's actually almost part of the whole thing. And you, but you know, unless you're going to put the box or the packaging in like your one of the thumbnails, I know. Like here's the thing: when was the last time you bought something because it had a cool box that you didn't know you were going to get until you got it in the mail? Yeah. Like, Oops. You don't know what the packaging is. No. No, you don't. So and like, uh, that doesn't really, you know, it, you got to do something to the product that you can talk about. You know, you don't really talk about your packaging. You go, oh, I've got like a super stick, sick, thick styrofoam in my <laughs> box and, you know, or whatever. When you try to differentiate your product uh, to Amazon. Oh, wait, actually, so. that's another mistake we did make. <laughs> Going back to Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Yeah, don't, don't learn from us. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> learn from us, but don't do what we do. Yeah, yeah. so like no one's going to buy your 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 candlestick holder. It's one of your bullet points is going to be great for the dining room table and wait till you see the bubble wrap we use. <laughs> like nobody cares. So no. when it's it, first, is it a necessity? Well, if you want to sell a lot, it's a necessity. It's your business. You can do what you want with it. But again, remember the whole point of this is that people are going to search for candle holder or cool shower head or whatever the hell they're going to search for. And you have to have some way to catch their attention. Yeah. So that's what you do. I mean, don't, don't, and, and I get that it's going to be more expensive probably. I mean, I totally yeah. get that because Adding stuff usually does make it a little more expensive than their original quote. But here's the thing. Because you're making yours different, shoppers are going to look at it like it's better. Well, And, and if and, it's better, what happens? Right. And, and so the idea to make uh, something better like that, you want to... You know, like I like to dive deep into the reviews, especially the the, the negative reviews of, of my competitors' products and find out what they're doing wrong and solve that. 
right? So, yeah. you know, if it's not thick enough or the zipper always breaks or, you know, that kind of thing, how can you resolve the things that got them bad reviews? Yep. Yep. And then you can highlight uh, the fact that you've solved that problem. Your zippers never break. They're super titanium or whatever um, sort of yeah. thing. So and I'll guess what that does for you then, right? Yeah. Now, everyone's lined premium up here. Premium product. You're you can, here. Yeah. Premium price. Yeah. Premium price. Cool. So uh, another uh, question coming through the fast track uh, this week. I'm doing some Facebook advertising and I'm not sure what the URL should be in my ad. I don't have a website built yet. So I don't. Uh, so do I just send people directly to my product? And the answer Wrong. is. <laughs> so do I send people Wrong. directly to my product? And the answer is. <laughs> Well, yeah, you want to send them to your product, but one huge mistake people make is that it's going to take you, you're going to burn exactly the same amount of calories to send them to your product as if you send them to your product with a keyword you want to rank for attached to it. I mean, that's like the easiest thing you can do. I mean, even if any one of your friends or family want to buy, they just don't want to leave a review. But whenever you give your link to your product, Take a keyword you want to rank for and um, look up Helium 10 um, Gems, G-E-M-S. Yeah. G -E -M -S. It's free. You don't, have to, you don't have to subscribe to Helium 10 to have it. It is uh, what's called a, uh, a two-step URL builder, and you'll go there to a Helium 10 Gems page. You'll see a bunch of different options. And the one I always use is uh, Hidden Field or Field ASIN, I think, is the one I use. Yeah. But really, all of them on there will work because helium 10 isn't going to let anything no. you know, on there that's like you know out of terms of service yeah and so all that does what that or what that does is actually takes you to the um the product but as if the customer had searched that specific um term and then it takes you to the product and in the url amazon thinks that they were on a search screen and clicked the link from the search screen for that keyword so it helps you in ranking for that keyword as your ads all your ad traffic is coming through that keyword and uh, amazon sees that as being oh my god these guys are really uh you know people are interested in this product when they're looking up this uh keyword so it's a yeah so that's a little trick like too like if you want if, if you look at your keywords and you notice that oh here's one that i wish i was just ranked higher on maybe you know um on position i'm on the second page but it's a nice meaty keyword right and, mm -hmm. and this if i could just get this up to that first half of page one I'd be making some serious money. Well, use that keyword, right? And just pump all your traffic to there and pretty soon, boom, 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 you start going up. Yeah, yeah that works really well. Uh, at least it has for us. Um, that's right. So that's cool. So Danny, let's, uh, let's get into our cover story. Right on. Oh, this is, I think this is going to be a great story, Dwight. I, I like this. So this is what should you be doing every day in your FBA business. <laughs> exactly. What should you be doing every day in your FBA business? So one of the things that we look at um, every day is our uh, PPC campaigns in Amazon. You want to make sure that you are uh, spending money appropriately. You want to eliminate um, pay-per-click uh, keywords that are not... Um, being effective or generating revenue for you. And you want to take keywords out of your auto campaigns and move them into manual campaigns when it's the determined what those keywords um, that are generating the sales for you. So you can focus your budget and increase spend on just those keywords. The winning uh, ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, but you know what? I you, We should add another thing in there. Mm. Every day you should log into Tika Metrics to make sure you have Tika Metrics so you don't have to do step one of what we just talked about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and 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 just a little tip from me, don't argue with the Tika Metrics guy over the budget. He knows what he's talking about. We got this. We got this. Thanks, champ. That's what we told the guy. <laughs> Not thanks, champ. We got this. Yeah, that's funny. We sold t-shirts on Shopify. Thanks for your help anyway. Yeah, yeah. There you go. 
All right. So number two is uh, deal with your buyer messages. That's uh, including the good ones, including the bad ones. Deal with your, um, you know, any messages you get in requests for information about your product, um, any negative reviews that you get. You want to make sure you're working on those. Um, so, yeah. Danny? The anything? message is actually something that doesn't really even take all that long. No, I mean, even if you're selling a ton, you really, you do get questions though, but yeah, it, it, you just look at them every day, see if there's anything in there that you can deal with. Cool. Um, yeah. Oh, well, I, of course, number three was manage negative reviews. So that's already, already dealt with. Um, we're going to be done in 10 minutes today. Dwight. Yeah. <laughs> Tracking day to day sales. This is the part that I love the most because uh, I'm very, kind of love to see how what our inventory levels are how many are moving what's the estimated time to um, out of stock and do I have enough time to make an order to get the new ones in it's really you know just doing some quick math seeing what's selling you know if you have variants which uh, which variants are selling and how much stock how many times do you hit that uh, seller app every day to look at what we sold uh quite a few <laughs> Yeah. I'm trying to cut down. I'm just like about 500 times a day. Yeah, I like don't, I get that I would, down a little bit. I would hate to uh, count it actually, but it's pretty much every time I grab my phone out of my pocket, that's the first thing I do before I actually deal with the, the why I'm going to look at my uh, iPhone screen time report. <laughs> no. Yeah. I turned that off. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you have to do? Okay, it's uh, external traffic. Let's deal with oh. external traffic, right? So <laughs> external traffic is is where you're driving traffic to Amazon from Facebook ads, Instagram ads, that kind of stuff. And we did My quite new thing, a bit. I of love this. I love YouTube video just to drive traffic, do like a review on something. Yeah. Yeah, that that's, way cuz it's a really good cheap. idea. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I like, uh, you know, when you do a YouTube ad, I love doing a YouTube ad right over top of a video that relates directly to the product. So if you, somebody's oh. searching for, you know, best washer in, you know, best washer for delicate clothes, my ad is actually a washer ad for delicate oh. clothes. Like it's just, gotta so you get corner. over top of the guy that created the video. Yeah. Well, we got it. We'll maybe we can dive deep into that some episode too, because that is a wicked little trick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's nasty. It's you're just being mean to the guy that did the video, but that's all right. Um oh yeah. So again, you know, the optimize and monitor Facebook ads, that was part of uh uh what we had. We also talk about um Work on your email list. So building your list of customers, um, uh, you know, kind of pre-purchase. So when you're driving external traffic, such as YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, those types of things, you want to build a bridge page in between um, what they're looking for when they click on yeah. the ad and getting them to your product on uh, Amazon. So, and that allows you to, uh, you know, uh, get their email address. So for example, if you're promoting a, 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 some sort of a coupon deal, you drive them to a bridge page and say, Hey, give me your email address and we'll ship you a coupon code so that you can get 20% off or whatever. It's a great way to drive the traffic and build your email list at the same time. Because if they showed interest in your product, when you have a variant of the product or you have a related product, when you add your next thing, you want to be able to send people that have already, you know, shown interest on your existing product that you've got other things. So you can generate immediate sales from a list of, yeah, uh, yeah. of, of, from your email list without well, think having about how think about how easier that makes like launching a new product if, if you're oh. in the same niche i oh mean God. oh my god i wish we had that wish i wish we, we were smart enough to listen to uh well you know it was the, the, the biggest <laughs> challenge that that we had when we launched our cotton ball product was uh <laughs> you know <laughs> we didn't have a list of cotton ball buyers right i mean it was just it's tragic very tragic 
All right, let's go to the next one, whatever it is. I think we visit your Facebook groups. Okay, so what do you mean by that, Danny? Well, the nine new Facebook groups, you know, I think a lot of times people end up, they, they get into the course, they, they start to kick ass, and then pretty soon, well, I don't need to check in here anymore. I'm making all the money. But the reality is the courses change all the time. Kale and Taylor are constantly doing live streams. People are talking about new methods in the groups. So I think people should always just, I practically live in all of the groups. Have you, have you noticed um, that some of the most um, interactive people in our groups are uh, the ones that are sharing their scoreboards and the, you know, kind of the progress of their business? Have you noticed that? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you, you and, look and at, you what know, do you think the reason yeah. for that is? Do you think that they're successful, therefore they're sharing in the Facebook groups? Or are they sharing in the Facebook groups, therefore they become successful? Well, like you look at Sharon, for example. Sharon comes in and he will share a lot of stuff. Yeah. I mean, he's super awesome at that. Yeah. But then he's also never afraid to just say, Hey guys, how do you do this? Yeah. You know? And if he's and it, asking, like, awesome. oh my goodness, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, but I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I, I, I've been watching this for a while and, and I really believe that it's, it's the people that interact the most, that, that participate in those live streams, the, the calls, the, the group participation, you know, they participate, they comment on, they help help people celebrate their successes. They talk about mm -hmm. the things that are challenging them, the things that they're succeeding with and stuff like that. Those are the ones that, that succeed at this. If you come in and just read, you're kind of like a little mouse in the background and you just kind of, you know, or whatever. You gotta, you gotta participate. You gotta, you gotta be active. That's really gonna help, you know, getting, hanging around a bunch of people yep. that do, are doing the same thing as you that are trying to, you know, meet, yeah. get these goals for their family, build their business. It's the greatest community that, you know, I've been a part of in a long time. It, it kind of even goes back to what we were talking about at the top of the show where it's like, you know, or uh, when we are talking about like, what I see people in Facebook beating themselves up sometimes. Yeah. It's like, also, don't be afraid to look, I mean, I don't want to like say stupid, asking a simple question, because we are all in different stages of this. You know, yeah. some people are making zero dollars, some people are making $50,000 a month. There are no dumb questions. Some of the questions I ask are up there. I mean, yeah, probably, yeah, that is absolutely true. I got a yeah. couple dumb ones. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, well. But yeah, so anyway, don't be afraid. Don't be to afraid. If people are not going to hold it against you. They're going to yeah. they're going to be supportive. That's what the group is all about, right? And I don't want you guys to forget. Look what we got on the screen, Danny boy. She's a fat oh, bird. She's such a dick. <laughs> such a dick. <laughs> Listen, why, why not show the picture of me, well, sadly, moments before I crashed into the ocean? <laughs> Yeah, that, that's a really cool picture too. Yeah, yeah. Face you when you're when your jetpack shooting you straight down. Yeah, I didn't yeah. get to see that one. But listen, this is all about uh, the reason I'm showing these pictures is it's it, the the something you need to do every day is also take time for yourself. The reason we run our own businesses, we're doing Amazon FBA, are to to hit these goals, you know, and live the life, you know, instead of live for work. So. Um, you know, the eight things that we talk about that you need to do every day shouldn't take you, you know, um, all day, every day as you're going through. Take time for yourself. Yeah, well, it. right. Like you're probably seeing that, you know, FBA is really front heavy, right? Yeah. I mean, it's all your work is done in, in, in the beginning. And that's why like you just got to work your ass off during the, the beginning section until you get a product up that's making some money. And then you get a second product up that's making some money. And all that takes work. Yep. But after you get that going, you really can live the life well, and, and the nice thing about it is in this first phase of, of learning and doing and learning and doing and learning and doing is that you get into a rhythm, right? You start to be able to launch products much faster uh, every time you do it because you're not you're repeating successful 
things that you've done and not repeating the mistakes that you made, uh, sort of yeah. thing. So, uh, what do we, what should they be doing every week with their FBA business? Danny boy. Oh, the most obvious thing right there. The nine, nine rewind. rewind. <laughs> That's <laughs> Tuesdays at 9 PM Eastern standard time. All right, so that is all the time we have for today. That was a fun show, Dwight. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. You're the the fat so, bird. I think was the best part. But now I see why you had it. You were going to embarrass me later in the show, but you thought, oh, I might as well embarrass him twice in the show. Yeah, yeah. Good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly. Hey, it. the best way to contact us is to be active in the Facebook groups, be active in fast track. And hopefully we will find your question. And something we say all the time is, and we kind of, it's been a running theme in today's show. Uh, FBA is hard. This ain't an easy business. It's a real business and you got to work on it. And the only way that you cannot succeed at this is if you just fail to take the next step. So you know what you got to do. You got to take that next step. He's Danny. I'm Dwight. This is the Nine Rewind, and we'll see you. There's next that time. stupid salute. Yeah. Oh, aye, aye, Captain. Yeah. General nuisance. Oh, oh. Seriously, I almost drowned when a stupid jetpack shot me into the water. <laughs> <laughs>